things in them. And so we teach a lot of um, reading foundations. We learn to um, spell words and write words, sound out words, blend words together. And by the end of the year, they're um, reading and writing. And uh, it's amazing. It's, it's got to be a great feeling to watch really them go is. from really from nothing to, uh, yeah. to at the end of the year. They're, they're, it is just an amazing you know. thing to watch. And, um, and I have so, you know, wonderful help and wonderful co workers. So I'm very thankful. Now you've taught for 22 years. Yes, yes 23. 23. Yes. Why? Why did you Why did you get into teaching? Why did you do this? I would say um, I started school and my, I loved my kindergarten teacher. So she was here in um, Burke County. And um, I just, ever since then, I've always wanted to be a teacher. And, um, and I love it. I mean, it's just an amazing job. These children are wonderful. And I can imagine you're having the same kind of impact on your, on your students here now, too. Yeah. I hope so. So I just enjoy them there so much fun. Well, let's let's take off on that. What's your favorite thing about teaching? Um, every morning I wake up and I just I'm excited about the adventures that we have every day. So it's um, they just got me to school. You know, some of them have some tough backgrounds, but um, they just fill my cup. You know, I just love being with them and learning with them, you know, and just making a difference in their lives. Fantastic. Now. Uh, I, I asked this question to uh, to a previous teacher, and I said, "If you had one message for parents, you have you're, you're on your soapbox, okay? You have you have everyone's attention on TV, okay? What would you what would you want to say to parents?" Um, read to them every night. Make sure you know you read when you sit in bed and read a book. Um, love your children. Um, you know, expect great things from them, but also, you know, help them understand that they do make mistakes, you know, and so just, you know, encourage them, so we all need that in this world today, so we just need somebody to love us and love us. Okay, and, and finally, uh, teaching during COVID has kind of been a, just a tremendous challenge. What, what, what kind of things have you done to, uh, to overcome that? I know you love being back in your classroom with your kids, uh, rather than over a computer screen, but tell us what kind of challenges you're facing. Um, we have had a very challenging year, so we're just keeping our kids safe and distanced. Um, in kindergarten, they love to hug and, you know, be friends with each other. So just, you know, trying to teach them how to socially distance themselves, but also be friends with each other. And with us, you know, they want to give us hugs and cuddles. And, um, when somebody walks in the room, you know, they applaud. And so just trying to teach them you know, how to be friends with each other. I don't know, it's also just teaching with COVID, um, learning about children that are at home, you know, maybe not the same as COVID survivors, but reaching out to them, you know, letting them know that somebody's like, so cares about them, and just praying for you. So. Now, last question. Uh, the, uh, tell us about your support system here at Wayne's World Primary. It seems like you are loved and people are coming in this door left and right. So tell, tell us about that. So I really, I feel very fortunate to work in our county school system. So we have some of the most phenomenal administration here. Um, we have a great support system at our campus um, in our community. So I really am fortunate. And I have the best co-worker in this group. And I'm just so appreciative for her. She comes in and loves and all these children every day. Um, we, as a kindergarten hallway, we love each other and help each other. Um, just checking in with each other um, throughout this COVID. You know, it's been tough. You know, I'm just very thankful and very Well, thank you. Very deserving as well. Thank you. Let's give her a big hand. <laughs>